Game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Ulysses up two uh, wins early in this series. We'll see if Shadowfax can uh, take a deep breath and and kind of recuperate himself here uh, for game number three. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color, playing as Odin. His name is Shadowfax. His opponent today in the blue color, playing as Loki. His name is Ulysses. The map, the map is Sheltered Pass. And we are seeing a bit of a, uh, this is not the best spawn here for either player because, well, one, we see that it's, uh, it's, it's giraffe spawn here, but two, well, it's only two giraffe spawns. So this actually does help out Shadowfax a little bit with a potential Heimdall rush in this game because this, this matchup is very, very difficult here for both players to kind of navigate and, and work out. So we'll see how it's going to work. Shadowfax is a very, very defensive orientated Norse player normally. And when he goes into these kind of mirror matchups, which is definitely one of the better players, or he's definitely, well, we do see a, a, a veto here in the end here. So that makes a lot of sense from, uh, from Shadowfax's perspective, not happy with the, uh, the giraffe spawn and everything else here. Uh, so we'll get this one started very shortly. Uh, but yes, so the both players have to stay the same gods here. So it's going to be Odin versus Loki still. Uh, oops. I need to hit the button. Uh, it's still going to be Odin versus Loki. And it's, uh, it's going to have another chance to roll uh, a different sort of starting hunt uh, on this one. So it'll be interesting to see what Shadowfax is going to go for. If, he's going to, if, if it's like the elephant spawn, which can be really, really good for... Uh, for Odin, he can go for a crazy fast advance against the Loki and basically push him off gold in the very early stages of the game. So we'll see what's going to happen here as we spawn back in, in the left side of the map, in the red color playing as Odin. His name is Shadowfax and unfortunately he does only see the two... Giraffe. You hate to see that. You absolutely hate to see that. Ulysses hits save now, though. That saves Shadowfax so much there. That's both of the players' vetoes being used at the moment. Uh, so there's no more vetoes left in this series. Both players not wanting the giraffe there in this game, it seems. Uh, yes. That's the last of the vetoes here. Oh, dear. Shadowfax, you cannot bring... You, so Great Hunt gives you 750 food. So, it's not going to be able to go above 750 food. My golly gosh. All right, we'll see how it's going to go as now we see the final spawn here. Shadowfax is going to be very... <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Great Hunt works. Oh, Shadowfax is so tilted. He's going to be so tilted here. Okay, so the way that Great Hunt works is it gives you 750 food. It doesn't go above 750 food. This elephant here is 750 food only. So you can't get yourself an extra goat. You can't get yourself an extra goat with an elephant. It's just not possible. And Shadowfax clicks Great Hunt immediately there and he gets the goats. So he was either going to... When you click Great Hunt on this, there is there would have been a one in five chance that the elephant would have been converted because there was four goats there and one elephant. And this doesn't mean the game's over here. It just means that Shadowfax is going to need to build an ox cart. Because this would this, this build, which um, basically you can do a build here with Odin or with one elephant, which is we'll talk a look, we'll take a look at Ulysses a little bit later. I'm just just too too in awe about what's happened here. But basically, Odin can do a build here if he great hunts the double elephant, where he doesn't need to build an ox cart for his food until the uh, until the classical age. So he can do an advance time at 
It's a 3.30 advance time. I, I believe if there, there was a game played by Chrono JJ versus Chemo on a map called Megalopolis in the Fimble Winter 3 tournament where Chrono JJ uh, took Chemo out, or didn't take him out, but got his only win versus Chemo with a ridiculous Odin rush against the Thor of Chemo going for that build. But this is now meaning that Shadowfax has to build himself another ox cart here. He's going to have enough resources to advance, but maybe he can go into pure uh, pure throwing Axeman here at the start as another option, uh, where he just doesn't build the second ox cart either, uh, and just goes pure pure throwing Axeman, builds just uh, one one or two Hursa, and goes into nothing but throwing Axeman to put the pressure on. The gold mine is exposed on the front here as we see the temple coming down. Uh, and I guarantee you Shadowfax here is going to be going for Heimdall as he is finishing up with the elephant. The ox cart's going to be coming out. The villagers are going to be moving over onto their zebra over here very, very shortly. And very happily to do that as well as the hearse. We can't actually afford the hearse here either because of that ox cart. We'll see how it's going to go. We'll see how it's going to go. Trying to find all of the goats over here on this location as the house is going to get dropped down. Ulysses... Uh, building his buildings nice and defensively here. He's gonna, he's 100 gonna know what he needs to do to defend this. But the ravens here for Shadowfax are gonna spot this location. They're also gonna spot this over here, and we see Freya actually from Shadowfax, so not Heimdall here. This is surprising. I would have thought that he would have gone for Heimdall in this situation, but he decides for Freya. Burning this forest down is going to be huge because they look at the for well, he does, he's got forest over here, but not that many. But I would have. Uh, yeah, nah, it's not going to matter that much, but all of these trees are going to go down here for uh, for Ulysses on this one. And we'll see how it's going to go as the Valkyrie is going to come through. The units are immediately going to start attacking on this location here as Shadowfax getting out the next Hursa as well. There's the Freya. Do we see a Longhouse coming down here at any point? Looks like no. The uh, Ulfsark skirting around on the top trying to find out where his Rhinoceros are as we do see a Longhouse getting dropped on to this location here to block these villagers uh, off ever so slightly, but he's just not able to get too much damage done as the villagers moving around here. We do see the, the barracks getting deleted there to allow the units to come through here as the army trying to chase this one down. We see one villager does end up getting taken down. A second villager not quite going to fall as the villagers are retreating back. There's a handful of uh, goats in the main base here as Shadowfax is going to pull back. Longhouse is going to come through now as we see the healing spring gets dropped down. The army has to pull back here away from this. Doesn't want to be fighting it just yet. Waiting on his longhouses to produce some units here. Uh, the early game normally does favor the Odin player here as we see Throw an Axeman coming through onto this location. Uh, basically, what Shadowfax wants here is to separate the Hursa from the troll to get damage done onto the troll by the Valkyrie or by the uh, by the by, by his own Hursa here as well. But Ulysses here, he's currently getting up the Longhouse in his main base, making Hursa very very slowly as the army is going to push through onto this position. We do see that the villagers have moved off of this wood line over here, moving over onto the palm trees, nice and early here. And the villagers are just going to be sitting on the herdables for uh, for this for the for the for the meantime here as we see raiding cavalry throwing axemen hersa houses coming through. We do see Shadowfax throwing houses down on the front. This is something that we've seen quite a lot by Norse players, and it's something that we do say probably try and bring the Ulfsark back. But oftentimes you just don't have time, especially when you're trying to use that uh, Ulfsark to get uh, pressure onto your opponent here uh, as. Shadowfax is going to attempt to push through. I wouldn't mind him trying to take down this uh, this sentry tower over here as Ulysses has got the wood right now to get himself watchtower. is definitely not something that he wants to, to wants to deal with here. And Ulysses is playing this nicely. just going to be sitting in his base here. Uh, this troll here is everything for the defense and more. As we do see a little bit of damage coming through, but with the with the uh, Valkyrie here and the, the Odin regen, he can heal back up that little chip damage that he's going to be getting onto him. But... Shadowfax is going to feel a little bit tense right now because he has pushed off of Hunt, but there is the big advantage of Loki of getting into Hall of Thanes, Hursa, and completely dismantling the uh, the Odin at full population here. So, so long as Shadowfax can can keep off of Rhino, keep off of Zebra, he's going to be in a good position. As Shadowfax moving up to the top side of the map, we do see the Hursa coming through here to get a little bit of damage done. Forest Fire going to get set down onto this location, trying to take this fight a little bit here and get a little bit of damage done onto those Hursa as none of the villagers do go down, but the villagers will be moving over onto this location here as the army tries to push through, get a villager kill onto this location. He does manage to snipe one dwarf here and he's going to pull out, going to trade one dwarf for a Hursa. Not quite. The Valkyrie over here trying to pull through 
Shadow on this location. Shadowfax not microing it too well. Losing that Valkyrie is absolutely huge here. That's the big, big healing help there to get that Hursa back up to full HP. As the army now pulling out, we've got 82 population for Shadowfax trying to push in onto this location to get some good damage done. The villagers over here getting healed back up, pick, taking down a couple of units there. One Hursa does fall. That low HP Hursa does fall there as the Hursa has found a house over on this position. As some thrown axemen going to be pulling back there to try and deal with that one. Still no Hall of Thanes has come through for uh, for Ulysses here just yet. As now Shadowfax has got kind of two ports of call that he can attack. He can attack the gold mine and he can attack the wood line. It is very easy to kind of defend both of those though as the uh, Throne Axemen come back here to try and defend this. The whole Hursa are going to search around trying to find something as well. So we see Shadowfax moving forward onto these rhinoceros there to eat those in the middle of the map here. Makes a lot of sense, making sure that there's no villagers over there. The army will get very easily spotted coming through because of that spy there, though, as I mean, Shadowfax can easily take these fights, and, and Ulysses is just playing around with this one, and we'll see where Ulysses is going to send those villagers onto wood right now, eating up the rest of the chickens up on that location there as the Hursa pushing through here, going to try and take out a couple of units here, but the army just going to come through and defend this one as Shadowfax, he could probably just utilize his, uh, his raiding cavalry to push over here. We see a big troll spot born though that's absolutely huge for Ulysses and Ulysses is going to be keeping that one safe bringing that back into his main base here as the raiding cavalry are going to try and chase that down the army are going to push through and try and push off this gold mine here for the time being here as the Valkyrie does get sniped down the army pushes through the villagers exposed on this wood line over here we'll see if Shadowfax is going to be able to make that happen he's still trying to just take out a handful of villagers over there as now the villagers going after this Hursa on this location we've got three Hursa coming in Shadowfax is going to have to micro this really nicely with his villagers Villages. He could just pull back into his main base though, uh, and just go on to uh and just go on to uh, onto berries, onto not berries, onto herdables as the villagers. They're not being retreated. Shadowfax isn't paying attention. He's trying to push in here. And now he finally is he retreating? He's still not retreating here. He's finally retreating. He's got a couple of villagers still hanging back on the on that location, pulling back in onto the main base here where he's got all of his herdables, trying to put pressure onto the main base, taking out villagers. There's 29 villagers for Shadowfax to 23 villagers for Ulysses. As Shadowfax tries to push in here, tries to take out these villagers as best as he possibly can. Tries to the troll does he pick it off yes he does as the as the push is coming through here trying to do as much damage as he possibly can here the hursa getting pulled back from this position as shadowfax now has to deal with a valkyrie over here plenty of pressure coming through though shadowfax has got 99 population ulysses population is falling drastically here in this game as the valkyrie retreating away shadowfax needs to continue microing this to the best of his ability the villagers coming over here to shank this as well as the hursa do manage to oh no they haven't clicked over onto that troll just yet 66 population for ulysses to 53 population for Shadowfax as it seems. Is he still producing units? Yes, he is. The Hursa coming back over onto the back here. The gold mine here has got only 100 gold left in it. Shadowfax is going to have to retreat, but has he done the damage or not? As he's going to continue to turn around, take this fight, but the troll over here doing so much damage. Do we see some Valkyries coming through here? Maybe Shadowfax is overcommitted just a little bit too much. We see another Longhouse coming up here. This is incredibly tense right now. Shadowfax here turning around, taking the fight, trying to pick off those Hursa as best as he can. As those uh, throwing axemen are getting picked off, we see the troll going after some uh, some throwing axemen here as best as he possibly can as well. Trying to make out some Ulfsark here into his military buildings to get himself sorted out at this point. I don't think he's going to care too much about losing a house or two so long as he can get the population back out. He's got the Valkyrie through now to try and take down that troll. He probably can actually pop out here. There's only two Hursa here for uh, for Ulysses at this point, as we see Ulysses now moving over onto the berries here, onto this gold mine, onto that position there. More houses going to be going down as now Shadowfax here. He looks like he's got the units here to pop out and deal with this. We'll see if he's going to go for it or not. He's moving through onto this position to go after some straggler units here. He does manage to pick off maybe one throwing axeman here going after the main base here. Is the army going to pull back ever so slightly? Shadowfax is already back up to 73, 77 population, but he just needs to pop his units out all at the same time as he's microing around here. His ravens are not not in the right spot to check the gold mines out over there as the Ulysses army retreats back ever so slightly. The army is through now for Shadowfax, and Shadowfax needs to know all he needs to do now is put pressure onto the gold here. Sh Ulysses is getting a lot of food out of this location here, but really Sh he could push in onto the middle here potentially and grab those uh, those those giraffe in the middle of the map there as we do see the Shadowfax army pushing in he's got three Valkyrie now that's absolutely huge here for Shadowfax as he pushes off this wood line right now realizes the gold mine is gone there has to be a gold mine elsewhere on this map here 
look at the population 75 to 98 here what is Shadowfax's plan does he go all in here or does he try to get to the next age Ulysses on the other hand he's kind of stuck here having to produce units at this point as now we're going to be seeing the raids coming through the Valkyries probably should go as well honestly he could just leave this location rebuild houses in his main base with an old suck as they get taken down as we do see the Hursa moving out on this position as Shadowfax realizes he probably doesn't need to go anywhere else we do see the, the Hursa pushing through here going to get kind of caught out actually going to be losing at least one Hursa on this position as we do see the raiding cavalry have spotted these villages moving up to the top barriers over here to take those out is absolutely huge not only that we see the dwarves over on this location as Shadowfax is moving forward it's 115 population to 85 population for Ulysses medium infantry coming through for Shadowfax as well to help out here as the villagers getting uh, massacred on this position Ulysses sitting at 24 villages here as he retreats back with one villager remaining the dwarves have all pulled off 300 gold in the bank for you uh, no 87 gold in the bank for Ulysses he's got no gold left Aurora Borealis is coming through for Shadowfax as well which is going to be a huge help Ulysses taking this opportunity now to put some pressure onto Shadowfax's buildings over here is another longhouse going to come down we're going to be seeing Shadowfax just simply walking straight through the base of Ulysses to try and get in onto the back over here as Ulysses pushes through here to try and grab this gold mine going after these houses is going to be absolutely huge but we see the villagers getting caught out and Shadowfax can just rebuild these houses over here if he wants to villagers moving onto the berries over here in the middle of the map on those uh, on those giraffe there as well as he does manage to take down a handful of villagers there the houses are all going down but does it matter or not as the army going to come in it's so strong he's got raiding cavalry he's got medium throwing axe when we see more buildings coming down the houses are already basically back up for Shadowfax there's more houses coming down Shadowfax just needs to engage here he's waiting a little bit too long he's waiting on his medium cavalry here to take this fight obviously that's going to be a big big help for him more houses coming up on the back as the army of Ulysses is very much exposed here we've got ourselves three Hursa four Hursa only for to deal with those four uh, Valkyries here of Shadowfax. The Shadowfax is going to be able to snipe them down incredibly quickly. Medium Raiders pops just as the army pushes through here. Tries to micro back here as he's just trying to deal with those Hursa as best as he possibly can. The Valkyrie's pushing around onto the back here trying to take down the throwing Axemen here. Shadowfax has got more, more than enough resources to pump here but he's not building units here at this point. A couple of, couple of buildings here, not training units but all of the army of Ulysses is getting cleaned up ladies and gentlemen. The Valkyrie comes through finally onto those trolls, onto the back we see the Hursa getting targeted down by the throwing axemen to boot here as they get taken down as well and the troll here will not be able to help out any longer the throwing axemen all get cleaned up and Ulysses has to tap out their shadow facts on the board he is the master of the Norse Wars ladies and gentlemen and not even the great Ulysses can take him out in this one I love the commitment to tack just as that gold mine expo was 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 uh, was, uh, was expiring there as the Hursa went for a raid he just goes full send obviously the Odin economy is going to be that little bit better than the uh than the Loki economy so Shadowfax takes that power spike takes that uh, advantage and converts it into a tangible advantage where he can control this game. Ulysses almost managed to make a comeback taking down the houses and everything else but Shadowfax catches him out on this gold, on this food over here makes it work. GG well played. If you guys enjoyed this game please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.